Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. And this is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So from this, we can understand this is capital P, this is capital Q and this entire term is capital R. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now, it is dx by substituting P which is y minus zx. This is equal to dy by Q is yz minus x and dz by R is using this as an identity. It is x square minus y square x plus y into x minus y is x square minus y square. Now, we have to use Lagrange's multiplier. So, use Lagrange's multiplier. So, the first part, let us use x, y and 1. So, let us copy this term dx by y minus zx equal to dy by yz minus x equal to dz by x square minus y square. So, here we have to multiply x with both numerator and denominator. Here with y both numerator and denominator. Here with 1. Now, taking these two terms alone, and I am going to apply the ratio property that is by adding the numerators to so, x dx plus y dy whole division. So, here we are going to add the denominator by multiplying this x inside. So, xy minus zx square plus y square z minus xy that is equal to dz by x square minus y square. So, here we can cancel xy and minus xy. From this, if I take z common, so the remaining will be x dx plus y dy whole division when z is common. Actually, we can take minus z common. So, this becomes x square minus y square and on the other side we have dz by x square minus y square, we can cancel both the sides x square minus y square and finally by cross multiplication we have x dx plus y dy equal to minus z dz taking this to the other side it is x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to 0. On integration, we get this as x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to 0 and there is an integration constant c1. By taking LCM, the LCM is a common denominator which is 2. So, numerator is x square plus y square plus z square and that is equal to c1 by cross multiplication x square plus y square plus z square equal to 2c1 and this we shall name it as a. In the same way, we have to choose the another set of multiplier. So, let us copy the term first dx by y minus zx dx by y minus zx equal to dy by second term is yz minus x y z minus x and third term is d z by x square minus y square. Now, I am going to use a multiplier, use Lagrange's multiplier. That is, we shall use y x and we shall take 1 again. 
So it means this will be multiplied with the y both numerator and denominator, this with x both numerator and denominator and this with 1 both numerator and denominator. Now using the ratio property, I am going to take these two terms and I am going to add both numerator and denominator. So adding numerator we get y dx plus x dy denominator we shall multiply y inside that is y square minus y z x plus x y z minus x square which is equal to d z by x square minus y square so it is possible to cancel these two terms both are same term with opposite sign and now it is y dx plus x dy by we shall take minus in common so this is x square minus y square so now again it is possible to cancel x square minus y square on both the sides then by cross multiplication this negative sign we shall take to the other side y dx plus x dy equal to minus dz we shall integrate this on both the sides this is actually the product rule of x and y that is when you have differentiation of x into y it is y into dx plus x into dy so it is rewritten like this now after integration this is just xy and this is minus z and there will be a constant c2 so this is xy plus z equal to c2 we shall name this as the constant b now after getting a and b we can go for writing the general solution and the general solution is in the form of f of a comma b equal to 0 it means f of a will be x square plus y square plus z square so here we shall write it x square plus y square plus z square comma b is x y plus z equal to 0 thus we got the general solution for the given partial differential equation by Lagrange's multiplier method.